Hey, what's going on, y'all? This will be a quick video on how I built my tomato trellis. Now, last year, I used the one by twos along with the two by twos. And towards the middle of the summer, I noticed that the one by two had a nice sag in the middle as the tomatoes got larger. So this year, what I'm gonna do is use the one by fours along with the two by two. Now you can use all two by twos and I'll show you that towards the end of the video. Okay, so right here, what you're looking at is everything you need to put one of these together along with a little wood glue. So basically what I'm doing is screwing down the one by four to the two by two with my one and one fourth inch screws. And I also add wood glue. That way it's never going to come apart. And on the sides, I'll be going with these. Now these are just scrap pieces of wood that I got from my pile over here. Lumber is pretty high right now. And I don't plan on buying any anytime soon. Now what you're looking at right here in the background is the old one that I built last year. And as you can see, I can barely touch it and it just bends down in the middle. And as the tomatoes got bigger, it kept sagging lower and lower and eventually it probably was gonna break. So that's why I decided to go back with the one by four or you can use all two by twos. Now, if you don't have clamps like these, a few extra sets of hands wouldn't hurt. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do is remove this clamp and add glue back here on the 2x2 two two and on the top of the 2x2. Two two. Then I'm going to clamp it back down and send the screw through the top here. All I'm gonna do is take an old paintbrush. My glue is already starting to dry. And just put some on the side like that. Don't need much. Or it's gonna be running everywhere. Make sure you put something underneath wherever you're gonna be working at, because this glue will run and drip. All right, so I have enough glue. Now what I'm going to do is put that right there in place and clamp it down. Now that I have it clamped down, I use my drill to screw my first screw in to hold it in place. Okay, now that I have that in place, I can now move this down further. Now I'll be adding my piece that I have cut in an angle here. And it's gonna go just like that. So same thing here. Add a little glue to the top. Also be adding glue to the back side. And this is where my extra clip clamp comes in handy. Now all I have to do is send a screw through here and two through the top, then remove my clamp and put the last one there. Now 
now that I have all of my screws in, I can go to the other side and repeat the same process. Now, if you take a closer look here, you'll notice that I have free drill holes. And the reason for that is I'm using one and one fourth inch screws and I wanted them to penetrate a little deeper into the wood. So I did that by using a dial drill bit, which comes with an adjustable piece so you can adjust your depth so that you don't go through the wood. And I'll show you an example of what it does when you use it. That's that simple. And here's the finished product. Now I will be adding the extra pieces to that side and also that side for extra strength. And what you're looking at there is a soil mix that I'm putting together for my sweet potatoes this year and a small compact raised bed with the trellis that I built for a customer. I'm in the main cage now, over here by my potatoes. And here's two of the trellises that I have done already. In the background, we have the one with my one by fours and the two by twos. And right here, we have the two by twos and the one by fours up top. Now, if you look closely, you'll notice that I use cup hooks to hook to my string which is twine and it goes down to my little anchor here and these are 12 inches these are also my cherry tomatoes now it's just that easy to build a tomato trellis step by step and that's pretty much it for today's video you guys always remember to plan that garden with your health in mind